All right, hey everyone, what about here, and welcome to Alba, a wildlife adventure, as part of the Dear Villagers and Plugin Digital sponsored stream thing. Now, this is a little loud. I might have to turn it down a bit, but it is very cute looking. So this is one of those games that I didn't play uh, when it came out, but I probably should have. It looks adorable. It's a cute bird. I'm assuming that's supposed to be Alba. Oh, is this kind of like the prologue when she was a toddler? Rad. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to turn this down by a smidge. Sound effects even more so. Anything else? I like the settings. Nice and quick. All right. There we go. As the volume. Feels decent. I love the style. It's very, like, low-poly cartoony. Honestly, it kind of reminds me of a short hike, but without the pixelation filter. Where's my baby Alba? Here you are, Mia Moore. Always chasing birds. Speaking of bird lovers, Granddad finally returns. Look, he's behind you. Oh, I thought for a second she had, um... Uh... She had, like, the, the tan lines where you put, like, the cucumbers over your eyes so you're burnt around your eyes. Uh, but no, that's just her glasses. Sorry, got distracted back there. I thought I'd seen a glossy ibis in the nature reserve. Turned out to be a mere moorhen. Oh, what's that there? My two favorite humans. Holy shit, this game is just me. That one's for the album. Alas, the bane of the photographer is to never appear in the f pictures. Alba, Bonica, why don't you take a picture of me and Abuela? Come over here, you can use my phone. I, if I'm walking like this, I bet I would just eat the phone. Let's be honest here. There you go, Alba. Please, don't drop it. You are now a millennial. Just point the phone and click the button. Try and get me and Abuelita in the picture. Okay, phone. I, uh, zoom in. Zoom out. I want to get both of them. It'd be pretty rude if I was just focused on, like, her hand. Just, <laughs> like, a complete turn. No, let's be nice. That's not the right thing. Okay, look, in the photo. An Iberian lynx here at the nature reserve. The king of the forest. What a magnificent creature. Alba's first photo. Granddad, king of the forest, and grandma. Here's to many more summers together. Love, Willow and Abuela. I didn't even notice it back there. Oh well. I've really gotten into bird watching just for myself. Ten years later, Monday morning, on a flight. Might have to turn the music back down even further, but oh well. Yep. Gosh, that got loud. Yep. Did not mean to do that. But I got to turn it down. It's actually vibrating my cheeks. Oh. It's still very loud. That's unfortunate. I should have just waited. Bienvenida, Alba. So happy, oh, so happy you're back for the week. Yes, we are, and don't forget the town festival is on Saturday. Are you excited? Are you excited? Nod, shake head. Robot, girl, nod. He's confused. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. I knew you would be. And don't worry, this time we won't ask you to dance with us. At least not in front of the whole town. And you must be hungry after your travels. Let's go to La Roqueta for lunch to celebrate your arrival. Last call for the boat to La Roqueta. Children go free. Free the child. started feeding two young mor morning doves because they don't know how to bird and constantly on their lawn. Oh, I think they know how to bird. They just like the free food. A little... 
you're here a little early. The paella won't be ready. Why don't you check out the island while Granddad and I chill? Wait, that reminds me, I have a gift for you. A wildlife guide. Fauna Mediterranea. Oh. And the guide lists all the wildlife you can find around here. Remember the Iberian lynx. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I knew you'd remember. I wish we could go and look for one together this week, but sadly they're practically extinct these days. Your abuelo is right, no chance finding one now, but maybe you'll spot some dolphins. Now go explore, we'll text you when the lunch is ready. Sweet, I am now free, free the child. Oh, she's got such a cute skip. All right, now that I've turned everything down and messed everything up, I actually have to turn it back up again. I wonder if the uh, the intro music was not affected by the sad sliders, and that's why. Well, it doesn't matter. Alba, yes, dude, you're back. It's me, Ines, your bestest friend. Did you miss me? Of course you did. It's been like a year. I counted. Come on, let me show you around. Hello, ch other child. I am here. Take me away. How do I how do I skip a command? Nope, just happens apparently. Look who's back, cousin Pepe. Alba, you've grown so much since last year. We're going to explore the island. Back later. I wonder if this is actually, like, based on a... Because we're in the Mediterranean. Oh, there's trash, though. Aw. Wait, what? But more trash. All right, whatever. But more trash. I guess maybe we'll get a trash bag or something. But yeah, it's the Mediterranean, but... I don't know of a whole lot of, like, Hispanic, or Spanish? This is like, per no, does Puerto Rico touch the Mediterranean? Actually, it might. These ancient runes are, like, very broken. Fourth favorite runes. Some island off of Spain? I didn't realize Spain was connected to the Mediterranean. I never took geography, so I'm, like, totally lost whenever it comes to the these things. Iberian Peninsula is Spain. Huh. I'm just going to pull this up on, on a map for myself. Just so I know, because I was I was just assumed Spain was mostly uh, only connect. Oh God damn it! I totally forgot. There's that whole upper area of the Mediterranean, the uh, the Tyrrhenian Sea. Yeah. So I'm not really. Does that count? I guess it counts as Mediterranean. Anyway, wait. What's that noise? Oh no, look! There's a stranded dolphin! Come on, down to the beach! The dolphin needs our help! Oh no, that's weirdly... I don't want to say topical. I know there was a, a dolphin that was stranded in Texas recently. And a bunch of stupid beachgoers actually, like, just decided to do photo ops while riding on its back. And the dolphin didn't make it! And I'm, like, kind of mad about that. It's so cute though! Oh, that's a pretty dolphin! The dolphin's trapped in a net. We gotta rescue it quickly. It's too heavy. We need more people. I'm gonna deal with this net. You get more help. Like, I like to... I like to try and believe that people are inherently at least somewhat good. But, I don't know. Some part of me feels like the last X number of years have baked people's brain and just turned them into monsters. But maybe the reality is that I don't know. It's really just like a third of the population is like crazy evil and we just can't can't get past that. Stranded dolphin, let's go! Round up everyone to chip in. Dolphins weigh a ton. A dolphin washed ashore, of course I'll help. A dolphin on my way. The paella can wait. A dolphin rescue operation. I'm live streaming that. Oh. And change the radio and also make the camera angle flip out a little bit. Okay, is there somebody inside? Uh, yes, there is. Hello, paella man. 
Our dolphin stranded. Say no more, I'll see you there. Oh wow, this is a lot easier. Oh, this cute little shower. Make me soggy. Big soup, it's paella. Paella is delicious. I used to make it all the time in college, but I haven't made it since. Oh, I was gonna talk to people, but oh well. I don't think you're supposed to throw the dolphin. I think you're supposed to carry it. Viva, you and Ines saved the dolphin's life. Look, the dolphin saying thanks. The perfect photo opportunity. Alba, Alba, fam. I've seen the light. Our purpose in life. This is going to hit you hard, man. Ready for it? Alba and Ines. Wildlife Rescue Rangers. The Errol. Okay, the name needs a brainstorm. But the goal remains. The wildlife is now under our protection. We got this. Girls start a wildlife league. Come on, wildlife rescuers. Let's head home. Game is so wholesome. It is incredibly wholesome. Holy crap. Wait, but we're going to have paella. But paella. Wait, this game is short and sweet. Probably two hours to beat. All right, looks like we're doing a full playthrough tonight. That music is so good. I need more games that are short like this. I don't think I'm going to get all of the animals, to be honest. But no, I, I need more like really pleasant short games to play. Tuesday, signs of change. I brought up a short hike earlier, and I think I think that comparison is going to remain. Those kind of short, sweet, and poignant games that maybe end too soon, but maybe that's kind of okay in its own way. Morning, Alba. Hope you slept well after all that excitement yesterday. Ah, morning, Alba. Sorry. Ah, uh, yes, we have to keep it down. Your abuelo is trying to snap birds. He hasn't had that much luck this morning. Hmm, why aren't there any birds? Aha, there's no bird food, that's why. Alba, do you mind filling up the bird feeder for me, please? I need to be ready to take photos at a moment's notice. I like that bird feeder. It's a nice kind of just recycled thing. Whoops. My controller is not connected. Birds. Just birds. It's stupendo. We've got them. We've got birds. Let's check them out, Alba. Here, have my old phone. That's the Wildlife Guide Companion app. Now just point, click, and identify. Try it with the birds on the feeder. Phone. Bird. No identi- uh, new animal found. Identify. Identify bird. House sparrow. Passer domesticus. Common. But birds. That is a good photo. Did you find out what bird it is? I am a robot child. Yes, I did. That's cheating. I saw you using an app. It's a great app, and it works on all animals, not just birds. You can go and explore now. Have fun scanning animals. This is Pokemon Stamp, but world sand, uh, open world sandbox. What? There you are, you saucy sucker. It is a seagull. Nope, call her Dove. Everything is a seagull. And it's gone. Oh, I can do little chores too. Can you do people? Uh, a little young for that, don't you think? Can I, can I jump? Is there a jump button? Oh, wait, no, there was a bird. I have to be sneaky. Solid snack. Oh. <laughs> Capture. Does not identify. Save to photos. There we go. 
Okay, what else do we have? The birds returned. I have to be sneaky quiet. No, I think it's a colored dove, dove again. And five animals. Nope. Didn't work. Let's see, can I climb higher? No, but I see that whole area over there. So I might as well just go out. Anyway. I think you're going to enjoy scanning animals and finding, uh, snapping pictures. Some are super rare these days. Can I go out? Alba, I almost forgot. Take this map so you don't get lost. Have fun. Yes. This Is this game just filling a Pokedex? Yes. And honestly, like, this is kind of what I wanted uh, Pokemon Snap to be, to be honest. I like Pokemon Snap on rails, but how lovely would it be to just have like a Pokemon Snap game on an island with like a 24 hour clock and just go. Doesn't even need to be big. It just needs to be a thing. Well, that squirrel's kind of messed up, but whatever. Scurious Vulgaris, red squirrel. I like it how that squirrel is vulgar. <laughs> that seems appropriate, to be honest. Because we do have a bunch of birds just kind of going around up above. But, uh, what is that? Oh, it's a sheep? It's a sheep. It's a sheep. Sheep. People of uh, Sir Sarah. Come to the nature reserve. I have a fantastic announcement. Is it about your sheep? If it weren't for the existential horror, Bug Snacks would be like that. Bug Snacks was kind of like that. I did find it got a little boring after a certain point. That it was such a lovely game, but it kind of suffered a little bit. It suffered a little bit... Oh. There we go. Uh, Sardinian Warbler. Uh, it suffered a little bit from maybe being too on rails after a certain point. And kind of lost some aspect of its kind of fun exploratory nature. Nope. Didn't work. And it's gone. Looks like there's a couple, though. And we've got both of those. Yep, too small. Boy, getting some of these is going to be tough. That's a European, European Greenfinch. Wow, this got messed up. Hola, I'm Yoon, member of the Wildlife Association. Sadly, there's only two of us, Clara and I. But you must also be a fellow nature enthusiast. The terraces here are full of interesting animals. I just need them to stay still for a second so I can photograph them. It's a trash can, but there's not actually a whole lot of trash around here. Well, let's go back. Because that... Yeah, that bird... Bird comes back. There we go. New animal found. Back of its head. It is... A black-headed gull. Common. I'm assuming finding the rare ones is actually going to be kind of a doozy. But that's okay. Oh. It's a rabbit. It's a bunny rabbit. European hare. And we've seen the Sardinian warblers. I don't know what that is. Can we find shinies, though? I mean... Common wood pigeon, you can find those. Pigeons are so stupid, and I love them. Though, turkeys. Now that I'm back in the northeast, I gotta tell you, turkeys are the stupidest bird. By and far, whoa. That's a little yellow sucker. European greenfinch. If there's a 
phone with even better zoom than this? Probably not. I I bought a monocular specifically, uh, mostly so I could see things up close. Okay, so that's a swallow of some variety there. And I don't I don't think the swallows generally stay still. Dang. I think I need to be up higher to get that one. We will see. Almost hit a turkey yesterday. Waited to jump out in front of me. Turkey. Turkeys are bafflingly stupid. It's fun to watch them go, but yeah, they're they're not functional animals. I think they mostly survive just because most things don't bother trying to eat them. Maybe they're actually quite nasty. I, I don't know. Anytime little Ola can't sleep, I bring her out here. I think the wind and the sound of the waves soothe her. Can I, can I become a weird gutter child? Yes. Anything interesting down here? Not really, no. Oh, there's like a little sandpiper. Little ringed plover. Aww. Animals are pretty. But yeah, uh... So, I guess the uh, the story I was kind of trying to tell before I get distracted. Uh, I picked up some binoculars recently. Uh, binoculars, binocular, Eleonora's falcon, uncommon. Um, because middle of the pandemic, I guess it was a year ago in the summer, we were at um, we we're at the local library, yeah, another plover. Um, we we're at a local library. That, no. Oh, that bird just fell through the world. Wait, there's another one. Oh, it's that thing. There it is. Got it. Merops? It Paisiaster. A, a piaster? Interesting. Okay. Uh, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Anything else? No, not really. Okay. Anyway, we were at... Uh, I'm just going to get distracted by every freaking bird in, in the way. On the way? Oh. These guys are coming out of the holes... They've got little sand burrows. That's really cool, actually. Uh, we're out behind the library, and there was this old man uh, with a giant, like, uh, it was either a telescope or it was a telescoping camera. I don't exactly remember which. But we were chatting with him for a while, and he was, that squirrel is still stuck. Well, time to freak it out. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. Already, already have that one. What's up, critter? Flee before me. Flee before me because I am terrifying. <laughs> um, anyway. But he had a, uh, he had, like, a binocular or a camera or whatever. And we just ended up talking to him for, like, a while about birding. And he was super passionate about it in a way that was, like, actually quite endearing. Oh, that's a can. Never mind. Um, and more or less, we just kept chatting with the guy and he was giving us advice on, like, what... Binoculars they'd pick up, where to go, and so many other things. Red-legged partridge. It looks so accusatory in the, uh, the animal decks. Why are you looking at me? Stop, can you not see that I am flightless? You monster. Okay, can fly, I was wrong. No, nope, more trash. Hopefully we get the ability to pick up trash sooner than later. I guess if somebody wants to tell me that I can. Or, tell me where I can pick up the ability to uh, retrieve trash. I would be thankful. Another partridge. 
More partridges. Gull. Oh, day three is when you can pick up trash. Well, that's unfortunate. That's a whole on trash pile. Looks like this place has been kind of just terribly neglected. Um, but, 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 uh, what was I going to say? I don't know. It was just kind of neat. And so we ended up picking up uh, a monocular for me and then a binoculars for Shell. And as part of it, nope, have one of those. Have one of those. Can child, child cannot slip downhill. That's probably for the best. That'd be pretty terrible if there was falling damage in this game for completely other reasons than just damage damage. Um, but yeah, so with the binoculars and the monocular, we actually just started going around a lot and looking at birds. It's like kind of fun. It was something I'd never really thought of doing. You know, normally you kind of watch the birds and you're like, yeah, that's fun. But nowadays, you know, when we're out and about and in a, in a nature area, it's just like, all right, now it is time to inspect the local bird life and see what kind of weird rare specimens there are. It's kind of fun. Oh, thank you, Tiger and Chick, for the seven month resub. I missed that. We found a great tit. <laughs> I will never not laugh at the uh, <laughs> the naming of that. That and the blue footed booby. Like I just cannot help it. There's there's no way. Am I immature? Yes. Will I do it anyway? Yes. A blue tit. Somebody get that tit some oxygen. Yeah, so recently we've just been listening to the bird song around here. Because, except for the black, uh, red-shouldered blackbirds out in Portland. And then the hummingbirds. Most of the... Uh, most of the birds were actually pretty quiet out there, but in, um, like around here, especially, the birds are very vocal. It's actually kind of nice. Listen to your body. Keep breathing. The teacher in me reflects the teacher in you. Okay, not too much dialogue here. Yeah, I would... I don't know. I really want to, once I have a little bit more free time, I really want to sit down and identify some lovely places to explore. And put some more time into, uh, specifically for finding like animals and stuff. And also just to be out in nature again, because I didn't do that for a while. Great cormorant. That's a great cormorant. Very loud morning dove sitting on the trans transam to the laundry, cooing all morning long lately. I could see that potentially being annoying, but I can't imagine I'd be annoyed by it. When I was a kid, I hated robins because they would keep me up in the morning. I'd be trying to sleep in and the robins would just be going bananas. I'd be like, please stop. I want to sleep. Now I'm not as bothered. Not annoying, but it's just amusing. European rabbit. There weren't a whole lot of rabbits out in Portland. That was something. We did have some weird deer. Uh, Western deer, I, I never realized were different from deer in the rest of the US, but they have like huge ears. And they were kind of fun to see. Uh, wait, nope. No, 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 no. Dang it. It popped up as a plover and then it wasn't a plover. A coal tit. Huh. West Virginian variety. Just gonna wander around some more. I know I should probably be focusing on objectives, but it's just kind of fun exploring this game. It's, uh... I compared this to a short hike, and I'm gonna repeat that repeatedly. 
Ah, yeah, you heard me. Redundancy is good. Redundancy is good. Lesser black beak skull. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. What was I going to say? Uh, yeah, the deer had huge ears. I don't know. It was just it was animal time, man. There's all these people here. I never could understand sunning myself at the beach. <laughs> oh, this guy's going to have a bad day. Because I've had just enough sunburns where it's super, like... Super clear, uh, I should not have gotten nearly as much sun as I did. That's always been something I'm kind of leery about. Do not have your phone here, dude. I love living on an island. You're never more than a few minutes from a beach. That would be fun to do at some point. To actually spend just a couple months on, like, an island or something. Grandparents raise chickens. Roosters are very annoying. At least... For about 15 minutes till you get used to it and tune them out. I, my uncle raised chickens. I've definitely told the story of Brutus, but it was just like a mean cuss of a chicken. And one day he was charging him from behind. He turns around and just kicks it. Just flips end over end a couple of times before landing. Does it again and he kicked it again. And then it learned to stay away from him. At least for that day. And then they ate it like the next day. <laughs> Hello, who? Oh, uh, I, I, I know who you, I mean, I know who you are. From the newspapers, I'm Juan. I'm Juanito. The mayor's going to be making a big speech today. I hope he's finally going to sort out the nature reserve. Sorry. Uh, you see, there was a fire there last year. And the whole place got has gotten damaged. And the mayor has done nothing about it since. But it's really nice. We, uh, You could go play there sometime. Thank you, child. Back from dinner. What's this one about? Birds. Photographing birds, identifying birds, observing birds. That's not a bird. That's a bird. That's, I think, a pigeon. But I could be wrong. Feral pigeon. <laughs> Wait, are they literally called feral pigeons? Yellow-legged gull. Oh, Hell yeah. I believe so. That is... I love that. Because, like... <laughs> I don't know. Wild pigeons are just kind of weird creatures. Ooh, you're new. Oh, that's... That's... Probably a lady. Wait. Does your dog count? It looks like... A balloon animal. A Scottish Terrier. Buenos dias, Alba. Good job saving the dolphin. You and Ines are at the talk of the town. Maybe you remember us. I'm Marina and this little fluffball of socks. We briefly met a few years ago at the ice cream shop. You were with your grandma. We always talk gossip, her and I. Anyway, I'm sure we'll see you around. Enjoy your stay. I feel like an island this small would have some pretty heinous drama. Hola, Alba. Maybe you remember me from last year. I'm Maria. I helped you, your abuelo, Vincent, uh, Vicente, fix his scooter. That thing's a menace. Socks barks every time it goes past. Anyway, I hope you have a great summer here. Oh, hello. You must be Alba. I'm Erica. Maria's always so busy on the week of the summer festival. It's the last day off she's going to get until it's over. I'm just glad it's such a beautiful day for us to enjoy together. Oh, can we pet the dog? No. You cannot pet the dog. This game is suddenly ruined. See, what I want to do is pet the seagull. Come back, seagull. I wish to pet you. No, that would actually... That would be terrible. Alba, over here. We're curious what the mayor's going to say. Maybe he'll announce the restoration of the nature reserve. You know, after that fire last winter nearly destroyed it. We got here just in time. And restoration would be fantastic. The nature reserve's been abandoned for far too long. 
true that every year Alba and I have been wanting to play here. Remember, bon Bonica, we used to come here when you were a toddler. Toddler, toddler. Your granddad told me he even saw a lynx. A lynx! So jealous. Yes, the king of the forest. We saw it right here in the nature reserve. Like, so, so jealous. I want to see a lynx too. Hey, I think the mayor's about to start. Let's go see. People of Cesarol. I have exciting news about the nature reserve. We are going to transform it into... This shit. The world's largest luxury hotel. I'm sure you all know the nature reserve is sadly beyond saving, but this new hotel will breathe Breathe new life into our wonderful island. Tourism will be back together with new jobs and opportunities. Please give a warm welcome to Paco, the man behind the hotel. Thank you, Tony. My vision for the hotel is all about luxury, comfort, and opportunity. Not even the sky is the limit because there are no limits. My company will build the hotel in record time. In fact, we've already started construction. Thank you, Paco, for your inspiring words. This concludes the announcement. Thank you all for coming. We'll take no questions. Wow, time to burn it down. A what now? Luxury hotel. Oh, interesting. Na nature reserve beyond saving. We'll see about that. Although, let's investigate it once. Why am I not surprised? Uh, chances are the mayor's getting massive kickbacks, and it's not okay. Tearing down the nature reserve, building a luxury hotel. What sort of nightmare have I woken up to? I demand a refund. Shame about the nature reserve, but over the years we've gone from bustling tourist hotspot to a ghost town with more businesses closing every week. So maybe a luxury hotel is a good thing. Hmm, difficult. Well, that was unexpected. Indeed, it's going to put our island on the map again. Hmm. True, but there are other ways. Some that don't involve pouring concrete into the nature reserve. I wonder if they'll need personal trainers for the hotel's gym. It could be a great chance for me to expand my business. But what if they bring their own staff from the mainland? This could put me out of business. If you want to visit the nature reserve, you should do it soon. This is the most exciting thing that's happened here in ages. Bernard Del Mar is so boring. Maybe this will shake things up. What about the nature reserve? This will destroy it. Huh, I hadn't thought about that. Maybe they can build around it or something. Nope. My family moved here because it was so quiet. Now with the big hotel, the island could change. Maybe that's good. You can't have too much quiet. It's bad. It's bad. It's so bad. Like, the economy of tourism is very interesting, but it's super destructive unless you do it well. Beyond saving, it just needs a bit of tidying up and fixing. Now the mayor's going to build a hotel? No way. The arrow will act. Oh, but we're going to save the nature reserve. Let's start with cleaning up this mess. Yes, the ducks appreciate our valiant efforts. Worry not, feathered friends. The Errol's got this. Let's keep going, Alba. Alba. Gonna remind people how nice this place is. What a mess. The Errol's gotta tidy this place all the way up. Wow, those ducks have incredibly long beaks. What the heck? Look, huge birds with green heads. Never seen them before. Alba, find out what they are with your app. Well, first and foremost, we have some kind of wood duck, I think. Common teal, never mind. Rare. Honest Kreka. There's another thing here. Whatever this is. 
common pochard. Unfortunately, all of my camera shots are pretty terrible. Common pochard, common teal, Scottish terry. Oh! I see. So I'm supposed to fix these up with my own photos. There we go. Okay. I've already saved it. Ducks are cute. I love ducks. I also love eating ducks, which is kind of hard to reconcile sometimes. Ooh, these are pretty. Fantasy long ducks. They are Spatula Clypeda, Northern Shoveler. Yeah, so they probably uh, dig through the mud for stuff. Oh, that's also pretty. Red Crested Pochard, Netta Rufina. Neat. Ducks are tasty. Rare Shoveler spotted in Nature Reserve. Shoveler has finally been looking for all over for them. Greetings, fellow nature enthusiast. What's your name? Greetings to you, young friends. I'm Clara, president of the Wildlife Association. Our goal is to document all of the creatures on this island. That's awesome. We got our own wildlife rescue league, the Airwolf. Current mission, rescue the nature, nature reserve. Stop the hotel. Join us. I like this idea. My colleague, Alba Singh, here has all the paperwork ready. Right, Alba? I do. I have this, apparently. Very professional. Of course I'll sign up. And great idea, collecting signatures to stop the hotel. Yes! That's uh, exactly what our plan is, and always was. Huh, gonna need a lot of, lots of signatures, like five million. Five million? I'd say about 50 signatures should do it. I'm convinced you'll find plenty of opportunities to get those. In fact, Yoon, in fact, Yoon, a, col uh, in fact, Yoon, a colleague of mine, is looking for sparrowhawks. Apparently, they're nesting in the woods near town. Find and scan a sparrowhawk. That'll get you a signature for sure. Excellent! Thanks, fellow Arrowhold member. Sparrowhawk and signatures, here we come. Okay, this is great. I love this game. Uh, I was gonna say, I'm just gonna finish my thing about uh, tourism and stuff. I totally understand why uh, tourism is important and you kind of need, uh, kind of need it for some of these remote areas that don't have much for industry. The problem is what happens is bird watchers go looking for ducks. Oh, look at all those different ducks. I had no idea. This truly is a good sign. Signature? All these birds have picked this place as their home. I just hope the mayor sees this too. But... Nope. That's that. How do I petition signatures? I don't know. Maybe I can't. Maybe I get the ability to do it later. Unless that counts. And then there's also this. The bridge? All the best stuff's on the other side. Tomorrow I'm going to investigate who can help us fix the bridge. That's fair. Uh, might pitch, pitch this to the wife. She loves animals and hundo in games. Perfect combo. Yeah! No, this seems perfect. And I I hate to to be a consistent shill here, but it is nine bucks for the next couple days. So, I don't know. Good sale time. I'm going to pitch this to, to Shell as well and say like, hey! You would love this, and she will, and she's probably actually going to get mad at me for not involving her in this, but I think she also needs to play some some games on her own, just so she kind of has that experience. Most of her video game playing over the last couple years has been entirely through me, and I want her to play some games for herself sometime, because otherwise it's going to be uh, remote control Wanderbot, and that's always heck. Forgot the feeder. Oh, you're right, I did. We'll come back. All right, and with that, I think this is a pretty good stopping point for Alba, at least for now. It's a super charming game, and I'll admit I actually played a fair bit more of this, but, uh, you know, it's a good good stopping point, at least for here. I got a lot of wandering around to do, and I got a lot of side quests to complete, and a lot of birds to photograph. Some not birds, but it's a lot of birds. Anyway, so with all of that said, oh, this is such a charming game. I can't wait to play more of it, and 
Knowing that it's like a four to five hour game is super nice for me. Just something pleasant that I can sink an afternoon into or an evening or two evenings. And then I'm done. And I mean, chances are I'm going to feel like, man, I wish there were more of this. But at the same time, that's kind of a good feeling. That means that it did its job. And that desire for more, well, unfulfilled, is still kind of a better feeling than, boy, I wish there wasn't more of this. Uh, I've definitely had that with some games where I'm just like, can this be done already? Anyway. So... With that, uh, I guess one last thank you to Dear Villagers and Plugin Digital for sponsoring this video and the streams that these videos came from. Uh, it was super kind of them to reach out. And if any of you guys are interested in picking Alba up or any of the other games uh, from the sale, I will have a link in the description below. Uh, Alba specifically is like nine bucks. I think it's also on Apple Arcade and the Games Pass and like every other console too. So if you do feel like picking this one up, uh, I highly recommend it. It's Probably the best game that I've played from this thing. I don't like to play favorites, but it's it's one of those games that it feels like everybody should pr play, play, or at least try at some point, just because of the message and just how wholesome and charming it is. So with that, uh, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know, and if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, then hit subscribe because I got tons of them to check out. But otherwise... Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.